Data science is the art of discovering patterns and hidden gems within vast data oceans. Think of it as being a detective of the digital age, unraveling mysteries using numbers, algorithms, and technology. And just like a detective needs the right tools, in 2024, data scientists also rely on a toolkit of powerful programming languages to crack the code of data. So let's explore the top choices. If you're interested in data science or looking to start a career in this field, you have come to the right place. We'll break down the best languages to learn to help you succeed in the ever-evolving world of data science. But before we begin, if you enjoy watching these videos and find them interesting, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Learn. Having said that, if you want to enter the field of data science, then Simply Learn's postgraduate program in data science in collaboration with the Caltech CTME is your go-to option. This intensive program will equip you with the skills and tools needed to excel in data science. This postgraduate program covers the essential of data science concepts like statistics, Python programming, data analysis using SQL, machine learning, deep learning, NLP, and much more. Covering a wide range of tools, including Python libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Scikit-learn, as well as data visualization tools like Matplotlib and Tableau. So join our postgraduate program in data science and embark on a journey to unlock the power of data. Candidates with one plus years of work experience are preferred to enroll in this program. So visit our website today to enroll and take your final step toward becoming a skilled data scientist. The link is mentioned in the description box below. So without any further delay, let's get started. Before we jump onto the specifics, let's quickly discuss why programming languages are crucial in data science. Programming languages are the tools data scientists use to analyze, visualize, and draw insights from data. They allow you to work with data efficiently and create meaningful solutions. So choosing the correct language can significantly impact your success in data science. So let's get to the top five programming languages for data science in 2024. Number one on our list is Python. Python remains the king of data science. It's easy to learn, versatile, and has a vast ecosystem of libraries like NumPy, Pandas, and Scikit-learn that make data analysis and machine learning a breeze. Python is often considered the best language for data science for a few simple reasons. The first is ease of learning. Python is relatively easy to learn and read. This means that people can quickly grasp the basics of coding and start working on data science projects without getting bogged down by complex syntax. Huge toolbox. Python has a massive collection of tools or libraries that make it easy to work with data. These tools help with everything from organizing data, doing calculations, creating visual graphs, to building machine learning models. So you have everything you need in one language. Community support. There's a big community of Python users, including many data scientists. This means if you have questions or run into your problems, you're likely to find help and answers online. In simple terms, Python's easy learning curve, powerful data handling tools, and helpful community make it the best language for data science because it's like having a user-friendly, all-in-one toolbox for data analysis. Coming in at number two is R programming. R is specifically designed for statistical analysis and data visualization. If you love statistics, this language is your best friend. There are multiple reasons to consider this language as your primary tool for data science. These reasons include statistical focus. R is tailor-made for statistics and data analysis. It provides an extensive range of statistical packages and libraries for data exploration and hypothesis testing. Data visualization. R excels in data visualization with packages like ggplot2, making it a great choice for creating high-quality graphs and plots. Reproducibility. R's focus on script-based workflows and strong support for version control can help data scientists maintain data analysis transparency and reproducibility. In simple terms, R is like a professional toolbox for people who love numbers and want to find hidden stories in data. It's designed to make data analysis and statistics as smooth as possible. In the third spot, we have Julia. Julia is an emerging language known for its speed and simplicity. It's gaining popularity for high-performance numerical and scientific computing. Other reasons to make this language your primary tool includes Lightning fast. Julia is super fast. It can process data and perform complex calculations much quicker than some other languages. This is a big deal when you are dealing with a lot of data. The reasons to include this language in your toolkit includes Mathematical power. If you run into math and number crunching, Julia has a lot of mathematical tools that can help your life easier. It's like having a super smart calculator. Growing strong. Julia is a bit like a rising star. 
more and more people are using it and its community is growing. This means you can expect more excellent tools and support in the future. Moving on to number four, we have SQL, the language for managing and querying databases. Data scientists must work with databases and SQL is a must learn language for data extraction and manipulation. SQL is a good language for data science because it's like having a powerful organizer and investigator for data. Apart from this, several reasons exist to consider SQL for data science. The first one is data detective. SQL helps you ask questions about your data and can quickly find and organize the answers. It's like having a detective who can search through a huge stock of files and pick out precisely what you need. Database friend. Most data in real world is stored in databases and SQL is the key to unlocking and managing that data. It's like having the keys to a treasure chest full of valuable information. Before doing fancy data science stuff, you must often clean and prepare the data. SQL is great for data cleaning, like a handy tool that makes data neat and tidy. In simple terms, SQL is like a detective, a key and a cleaning crew all in one. It helps you investigate data, open the information treasure chest and prepare it for your data science adventures. Finally, at number 5, we have Scala. Scala is great for building scalable data applications and working with big data frameworks like Apache Spark. Reasons to include this language in your toolbox are Big Data Friend Scala works well with big data tools like Apache Spark. It can handle tons of data and do calculations on a massive scale like processing a mountain of information all at once. Code that grows with you Scala is great for building large, complex data systems. It's like building a skyscraper. You can start small and keep adding floors as you need more space. Or in this case, code. Best of both worlds. It combines the power of Java, a proper programming language, with the flexibility of scripting languages, making creating data pipelines and workflows easier. In simple terms, Scala is like a trusty multi-tool. It can deal with big data, scale up as you need to grow, and give you the best of different coding worlds. Scala is your go-to tool if you're dealing with a lot of data and want your code to be solid and flexible. Well, they are the top choices in 2024 because they offer a balance of simplicity, power and versatility. They cover everything from data cleaning to machine learning and big data processing. To wrap it up, if you're interested in learning data science in 2024, consider learning Python, R, Julia, SQL and Scala. These languages will provide you with a solid foundation for your data science journey. If you have any questions regarding this video, then do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will definitely answer them for you. We'll see you next time. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn for more amazing updates.